Oh, this is nice. Hmm. Rosia would have to be my number one pick out of the new Azerlane collab for three big reasons, but before you buy, there is a downside. Reason number one, this is my top pick for Wave 5. Battleship commanders for the Soviets have been surprisingly free to play for four years. With Lev Galler and his useless base trait, and Kedrov as the go-to guy, it's been pretty stale over here. I love Azerlane Bismarck, she's good, but we also have Hyde, Sharnhorst, Megatron, Jean-Luc Picard, and Teslau. Oh, and the reworked Ciliax and Hipper, lots of choices over there. Not to mention Cheshire having to compete with Neptune and Belfast, both of which are already really amazing, Colorado living in Azerlane, New Jersey's shadow, and Zara failing to blow Membeli and Sansonati out of the water. No, my friends, that really puts Rasia at the top of this wave by default, and it just so happens she brings some interesting perks and a great base trait. 6% less chance of catching fire is huge for Soviet battleships. You have so much armor in these things that AP really isn't that scary when you're angled, and you shatter most of the spamming HE, but fires are dangerous, especially considering the limited amount of damage consumables you have. And to make it better, you get a Wish.com condo thrown on as well. 4% off of the concealment could take away about half a kilometer of detection for these high-tier big boys. Overall, a very solid inspiration. You could find uses for it on other commanders and other builds, and for other battleships, I'd say. In fact, this may just replace condo for me on the builds that I use him. Sorry, condo. Dance with Death shouldn't be underestimated. For PC players, you may notice this looks really similar to Adrenaline Rush, which is universally considered one of the best skills you could take on PC World of Warships. Your reload is going to get faster the more health you lose. At 50% of your HP, you will get an 8% reload buff, so Vladivostok's 33 second reload would drop to nearly 30 seconds. With the longer reloads of Soviet battleships, this is a pretty good buff. It's not as powerful as on PC, but we get a little different flavor of it. As an added plus, we get increased turret traverse time as well. At 50%, it should be 2 degrees faster of rotation, and that would be twice as good as Kedrov's base trait. Definitely nothing to sneeze at. So there are good and bad parts of this. This will be 100% useless to the wrong players. To battleships who don't manage their HP well, such as the ones that snipe from the back of the map, you're not going to get any added benefit out of this and you should probably just take on second thought. If you're not playing your role in tanking damage for your team as the match progresses, you won't see any buffs. If you know when to push though, to tank and be aggressive by the end of the match with a small portion of your HP left, you could be a Stellinium slinging zombie ship that has insane turret traverse and reload. And the cherry on top for this commander is Battlecry. Maxed out, you will join the American battleships and pizza boys with improved pin angles. This base stat alone for American battleships is one of the reasons they're so dominant in this game. When most other nations AP shells ricochet, lots of times American battleships can squeeze in some nasty hits, and the Italians of course now can as well. If you couple that with the already amazing shell velocity and pin of the Soviet battleships, this could be a pretty big buff to red BBs. The only caveat to this is you have to have a fully maxed out commander to see the benefits. And getting a commander to 16-4 is a massive time or money commitment. Just pick which one you have more of. These event commanders do not get commendations from commander cray drops. You have to use the blue universal commendations anytime you want to up that legendary skill. That could take 26 commendations or more than half a year of grinding this tier 8 supply mission. If you really, really love Soviet battleships though, you may as well start grinding today because this could be a massive buff at 16-4. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, you also get an Azerlane, New Jersey inspired 10% buff to Citadel hits. All in all, not too shabby, and it makes this an extremely potent battleship commander. But wait, there's more. Master Mechanic in Slot 3. You get two extra heals with this, and you don't have to make it to 16-1 to get that. So being in Slot 3 is nice. Just pay attention though, if you're not taking Volunteer, you do lose some damage cons, so beware. Now, you could say there's still a big drawback to this commander, at least to some. It doesn't come with any accuracy perks that a true hybrid commander would have. 
No flammable cannoneer, no gyrating drill bits. Now, both of these skills would clean up the accuracy quite a bit and add some improved performance to the AP shells. Once again, you would be stuck back with old Lev Galler if you wanted to use these skills. Soviet battleship accuracy over 11 kilometers is pretty trolly and pretty bad, so you might miss some of these skills. Now, me personally, I've always used Kedrov. I like the added survivability and the more brawly perks. Personally, I haven't missed the accuracy. I'm not a huge fan of flammable cannoneer on a Soviet battleship. The added chance of catching fire is really harsh, especially when you only have a few damage cons. And the speed nerf for gyrating drill bits is also a big hit. It cuts down on your ability to move around the map quickly. If those things don't bother you, then hey, you have yourself a nice new premium commander here and definitely my top pick, I would have to say, for wave 5. I'll deep dive the rest of the commanders as I get time throughout this update, so stay tuned for that. But if you're looking for the rankings of the first four waves, look no further. This is Durka signing off. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.